stay alert. Today I want to talk about self-control as it relates to temptation and sin. I once heard a true story of how an Eskimo kills a wolf, and I think it illustrates how temptation and sin seduces us in a similar way. First, the Eskimo coats the blade of his knife with animal blood and allows it to freeze. He then adds and freezes more layers of blood, several coats in fact, until the blade is completely covered with frozen blood. Next, he plants his knife in the snow, the blade facing up, and goes about his business. When a wolf finds his way to the luring aroma of fresh blood, he starts licking, then more and more vigorously lapping it until the sharp blade of the knife is exposed. However, by this point, so intense is his craving for the scrumptious blood that the wolf does not notice the sharp sting of the blade on his own tongue, nor does he even realize his ravenous craving is now being satisfied by his very own blood. By light of dawn, the Eskimo will find him laying dead in the snow. 1 Peter 5, 8 and 9 says, Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith. Like the wolf, we too can be lured by things that, in the end, lead only to death. So today, stay alert and prayerfully depend on the strength and assistance of the Spirit who lives in us as we learn to exercise the fruit of the Spirit, self-control.